Hey guys, once again welcome back. I'm your host Avnas, and you're watching the Learning Destination. So in last two weeks there was quite delay in tutorial videos because I was on vacation and. That's the reason that I was not able to make the videos. I was continuously traveling. So my sincere apology on this and henceforth now you will be getting continuously all the tutorial videos. So as you can see on my screen, so today's topic is Manage Authentication Method. Manage Authentication Method using the Volt UI. I have already covered how you can enable the Volt user face, user interface and how you can create the policies and in this tutorial, we are going to see that using that policies, how you can assign that policy to user. And before that, we are going to see that different authentications method. And in this tutorial, we are going to especially talk about the user pass authentications method. So under this method, we are going to create one user ID and the password and we will be assigning the particular policies to that user. So user have the policies, whatever we have mentioned in that particular policies, user will have those kind of actions. So all these excited topics we are going to see now in this particular tutorial. So just take a look at this tutorial, sit back, relax and enjoy this learning. So as usual, you know that before starting any practical sessions, I usually go through the theoretical explanations and here I have given some definitions about the theoretical definitions about the authentications method inside the Bolt UI. So those users who are visiting first time my channel, there is a already playlist called Bolt user interface can go through and can see that how Bolt user interface works and how you can create the policies. That is that has been already covered in episode 01. So uh, those who doesn't know how to enable the Volt user interface can go and watch it right now and then come to this episode and can see how we can enable the user authentications method. So there is some definitions given. Let's quickly read it out. Authentications method are the component in Volt that perform identity validations of Volt clients and responsible for assigning a set of policies to an authentication client. In this step, you will be enable an authentication method and generate login credentials. So in a very easy term, in a nutshell, what we can understand here that whatever the users, there, there is a different different authentication method inside the world, inside the world that we are going to see now. So we are going to take one of the authentication method called user pass and using that we will be creating one user ID. We will set the password and we will assign the policy. So basically, let's suppose that you have bunch of users and that you are creating inside the world. So basically using the authentication method, you can restrict that user on some certain policies. So whenever the user logging into your vault, that user will have some certain limit of permissions and that is the main goal of to enable authentication method inside the Volt user interface. You can say that you are going to create the Volt client for the Volt server and now we, uh, we can create it. Let's see in my next step in this sections we are going to see it practically. So let's return back on the practical session. So on my screen, you can see that I have already logged in inside the Bolt GUI interface. And those who doesn't know how to start it can watch my episode 01 under the playlist Volt user interface. And you will have complete idea how you can start the Volt server under the user interface and how you can create the policies. So in this section, since I'm going to cover only the access, that's why the server has been already set up and it is started mode. So there are a couple of things which I would like to highlight. There is a policies which has been already created. I have created one policies DevOps and I have given this uh, policies. I have allowed this path that uh, the users will have the permissions under this path only the read permission it means that whatever the uh, it means that these policies will be assigned to that particular users will have only the capabilities to read under this path okay so now we are going to create the access and we will create here the auth method here we need to create the enable new auth method and here are the different different authentications method as you can see on my screen which is given right so i am going to create this username and password authentication so you need to click here and then you need to say next right then the path is user pass which is the by default 
and you say enable method. Now we need to now we need to save it, update options, and we need to return here user pass. Now we need to set the users, and I am giving the name DevOps and the password. I am giving let's suppose that any password, whatever you want, you can set up here. Save. Okay. So now I have created the users called DevOps. I have set up the password, and now we are going to attach the policy to this particular users. So we can say edit user. We can expand here, and there is a options of policies which we can assign here. So let's search where is the policy. Do not attach default policy. Okay, generated token policy. So, so here you can assign the policies. And if you remember, there is already one policy which is enabled that is called the DevOps. And I'm going to add these policies, this particular policy to that particular users. Okay, so this policy is attached, DevOps policy. Let's save. And just for your memory, I'm just going to repeat it. So under the policy sections, the one one of the policy called DevOps, which is already created, and the same policy which I have assigned to this particular user. This one. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to log out from this particular sessions and I'm going to log in with the DevOps users which we have created. This one. Okay. And this user will have only the permissions the permissions which we have set under this policy. It means that the DevOps user will have only the capabilities to read under this particular path. So let's see that. Sign out. And now here you need to change the method. Method is the username, right? And the user we have created, DevOps. The password I need to mention here, sign in. So we are under now, okay? under this particular users. So let's suppose that now we try to create the policies. As you can see that we are getting the permissions denied error. Why? Because this user doesn't have permissions or the policy which we have assigned to this particular user doesn't allow to create the policies because it has only the permissions to read the data under the secret config path. So this is the overall scenario guys that that's how you can create the world clients and assign the policies and can restrict the world clients. Okay guys, so it was the overall information about the authentications method inside the Volt user interface. So in my upcoming topic, episode number 03, I'm going to cover how you can manage the secret engine and the API Explorer. And this will be the last episode of Volt user interface. And after that, I'm going to start the new series of Volt, the Volt user interface, where I'm going to show you that how you can uh, manage the particular secret engine, like how you can bolt under the Kubernetes cluster, under the AWS account, Google account, Azure account. So, so henceforth now in my upcoming episode, I'm going to I'm going to show you all these tutorials. So stay tuned with the learning destinations. And those who hasn't yet subscribed my channel, I request you to somehow, if you think that I'm bringing some valuable topic for all the DevOps sections, then please subscribe my channel. Also share it with your friends and your colleagues. So stay tuned with the learning destinations and I will see you in my next episode with some more valuable lessons. Till the time, bye-bye. Show love for the learning destinations and don't forget to press the bell icon and subscribe the learning destination. So stay grow, stay tuned with the learning destinations. All the best guys.